a whole group of girls that are in like grade seven, they all just start to wear lipstick when they leave home and you know their mom can't see it and so they wear it in school and they kiss the mirror every single day in, the, in this um, bathroom. And lipstick is just a nightmare to get off of the mirror. And the janitor is really, really frustrated and he's upset about the fact that he constantly has to go and clean this mirror and he doesn't know what to do about it. So he goes and he speaks to the principal. The principal goes to the classroom. The principal speaks to the class and says, girls, we need you to stop kissing the mirror. What do you think happened? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. They kissed it more. Now, not only was there kisses on the mirror, there was little messages on the mirror. There was written stuff with lipstick. There was more. So the janitor went to uh, the guidance counselor and said, you know, I don't know what to do in order to fix this issue. What should we do? The guidance counselor says, let me, let me go talk to the girls. So she goes and she sits down and she talks to the girls and she talks about, you know, the plight of the janitor and this is really, you know, not, not, not effective. And, you know, she kind of got more, you know, alongside of them on a female to female level. Nothing happened. So the janitor instead said, you know what, I'm going to talk to some of the top girls and see what I'm going to do. So he picked out, you know, the, the girls that look like the ringleaders. He was like, come on, come on. They come into the bathroom. He goes, I don't know what to tell you. I want to show you how hard this stuff is to clean off. He goes, you guys kiss this every single day. He goes, I'm going to show you exactly how long it takes me. He takes his mop, he dips it in the toilet, <laughs> and he cleans off the mirror. <laughs> what do you think happened? Make the invisible visible. It's amazing what you can influence. <laughs>